Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. I just watched my friend Bee's, um, Bee Rachel here on YouTube. She just filmed one of these and it is my complete handbag collection. So I have like kind of been on a roll recently with like super long videos. I'm gonna try and go as quick as I can, similar to be not slip into doing bag reviews. I'm gonna try not to review them um, and just skate on through my full bag collection. I got everything out and ready and I immediately realized I am missing a few handbags. They are mostly the high street ones. So I'm missing a couple of my Stony Clover bags and my Lachamp bags are packed away into my suitcase. And so you won't see those. There's also two bags that I'm thinking of selling that I'm not going to include because I'm pretty sure I am going to sell. That is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini and the Neverfull GM in Azure. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to let those two go. So I don't want to include them. That's the situation. So we're going to start with my high street or less luxury bags and then go in kind of brand order. I have all a sea of bags right here. And so let's power through it. Hopefully I remember the names of all these bags and the relevant details. But like I said, no reviews, just showing. So I forgot most of the Stony Clover bags, but the one I remembered was this velvet scrunch handle bag. This is giving me Prada. It's giving me 90s. It has a metal zip here, just a big kind of empty thing, but it's a nice more casual sort of like under the radar bag. The next two bags I have are from the same brand. This is a uh, Susanna Chow. She's known as the Beadstress. These are hand beaded bags. This one actually looks quite cute with what I'm wearing. It's a little arm candy uh, heart shaped bag, just like an open pocket, semi transparent. So you can kind of see my hand in there. Really super cute for Valentine's or just going out. I like the black, it's a little bit more versatile. And the other one I have from Susanna is, I think it's called the Davina bag. This one can be worn as a clutch or there's also this strap tucked in. Also has pearl trim. And this one's fun. This one's like really transparent. Like you can see my hand all the way behind. So I love using this with super bright SLGs. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna review, but here we are. Next, I have this leather bag. This is by a brand called Hobo. You may have heard of it. They sell it at like Nordstrom's and stuff. This is kind of like a wallet on chain. There's like card holders and lots of little pockets. This little back pocket for your phone and a long leather crossbody strap. I use this for traveling in places where I want to be more low key. So if we're kind of in like more remote areas, like I want to be less flashy, this is like my go-to little travel bag. And then I have a bag. This one's very precious to me. Ooh, it's a little dusty. Um, this is a vintage bag that was handed down to me from my aunt. It is a little structured um, evening bag. And then inside, you'd see, this was made by Desert Road in New Zealand. I don't know if that's like a, something anyone would know about, but it just has some card slots, a zipper pouch. There's a crossbody strap here. But this is just like a vintage, very sentimental bag. It's suede on one side and then this polished leather on the other. <sighs> That's it for High Street and the Lachon bags and the other Stony Clover bags. You can watch my full Stony Clover collection and see those kind of beach bags. Now I have a few odds and ends. There's three brands that I only have one bag each from. So let's do those. The first is Bottega. Veneta, this mini Jody bag, clutch, a little zipper, and this is just a full open compartment, leather interior, very simple, smells delicious, feels delicious. Even the dust bag is like super yummy. I would get more of these. This is also great for travel because it's like you don't need to worry about like jam that into your suitcase, no problem though. Okay. The next one is also a relatively new addition. It is this little Balenciaga, I think it's called Arena bag. It has a little zip on the front. You can put an Advil in there. Um, and then it comes with this crossbody chain strap with the leather thing. Very, very cute, edgy, fun. 
the textured cowhide. I got this on super duper sale. This is also nice. It's a little bit more understated. I may be able to use this at times um, instead of the hobo bag. And then finally, my one and only Dior. This is a wallet on chain. This is the canage. I think it was called micro canage print. Such pretty detail. Inside, there's a mask. Sometimes I like pack up extra masks. Just I use the disposable ones. I know it's so bad for the environment, but I always worry about like breaking. And so I pack an extra one and then I'm like, ah, it's like technically a backup, whatever. I'll just leave it in there. But then finding it in there, it's kind of like yucky. So I should probably just throw it away. Uh, card slots in the back, a zipper pouch, like regular kind of walk layout. This is a little um, dust bag for the chain, which you can see I did not remove. I left on. It's like a very... This is very classy, does not fit as much. Okay, here I am reviewing it. Does not fit as much as the Chanel wallet on chains because it's very structured and like not quite as wide, but it also like you can see it would not unfold anymore. It's like very structured, very hard wearing. And this one's quite a few years, years old. Still looks brand new as far as I'm concerned. So those, that's it. The rest all Louis and Chanel. What do you know? Let's do Louis. I'm going to start with these totes and then see if I can't get them out of the way, get myself a little bit more operating space here. Just kind of throw these ugh, over that way. I promise I'll be easier on the Chanel. Okay. First we have this wild at heart on the go. Oh my gosh. Immediately blanked. This one's really cute. It has the hand, the long handles for the shoulder and then the short handles. It has a leopard print interior, but it's like dark. There's like a zip pocket. This is just a great, easy structured tote. I like that it's a fun print, but like a very businessy bag. So this kind of is like a good mix for me for like a work bag, a travel bag, whatever. Fun. Tried and true. Oh, and what's in here? I have like a tote bag, an extra Louis Vuitton dust bag in here. So it was, I was like, this bag should weigh nothing. Why is it heavy? This is the Louis Vuitton Never Full MM. This is a really old version. You can see I have my Stony Clover pouch in here. That actually looks so cute. This is the super old one. Look with the cursive writing and the little fleur-de-lis in the print. I've had the handles replaced on this one now twice and she looks amazing. Nothing can happen to this bag. Tried and true workhorse every day. Like she's powerful. She's doing great. Okay. Then I have another, uh, never full MM. This one is in the by the pool style. And there's also something in, oh, another Stony Clover bag. And also the little cute little pouch that comes with it where, I don't know, I guess, there's just, oh, I still have the cards in there. It felt like something was in here, but I guess not. It's just plush AF. I love the smaller print on this kind of pink and yellow ombre. This one also came with a bag charm. Not the, not the Maui pineapple, but these two flowers. I just have the Maui pineapple on there for memories. The micro, not micro, but regular print. And then the jumbo print on the outside. Love, love, love this bag for travel. Whew. Okay. Let's move the Bottega. Okay. Then I have the marshmallow bag from Louis Vuitton. This is also from the by the pool collection. This has a crossbody shoulder strap on the inside. Pull it out with the leather. Oh, it's adjustable. I don't remember it, but totally is adjustable. Little chain on the side and then it's leather on the top so it's super comfy. The interior is the micro suede lining. Yummy, yummy, yummy leather. And just such a cute bag. Like spring, summer, this is like such a go-to. Love, love, love. Then I have two, excuse me as I reach. <laughs> two of the same. This is the Alma BB from Louis Vuitton. This one's uh, it Verne, I think it's Rose Ballerine. This one comes with the leather crossbody strap, super structured, fits a ton, clochette, feet. This is the bag with all the details. If you can get one Louis Vuitton bag, 
get this. It's a proper handbag. Okay, maybe not in this color, but in this color, this is like the best freaking bag that they make. It has everything, everything, and the red interior and the crossbody strap. And the drop is quite long. So if you're taller or bigger, it should work for you. If you're shorter or slimmer, you might need a different strap. Okay, then I have the Ivy from Louis Vuitton in the monogram print. This looks like a vintage bag. It is not, it is made to look like a vintage bag. You might notice this little icon there. I think this was 2019. This also has, what do you know, a crossbody strap adjustable. And the inside, it's just the regular textile. But I love this bag. This is what I bought as a replacement for the Pochette Matisse when mine was recalled and I never looked back. Love. Okay, next, not technically, oh no, this is technically, this is a bag. The Pochette Cousine. Very cute, plush lambskin in the light pink. You can tell I love a pink bag. Snap in the front. The best part of this bag. This chain, amazing. This icon, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, a little flipped around, there we go. And then it came unhooked. <laughs> we are having a time. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> and then the interior, the interior of the bag is so yummy too. And I have the little card in there, get in there. Little red interior with pink details, zip pouch at the back, which is great. So you can be a little more secure, put like money or your cards back there. It's not going anywhere unless you want it to. Details on the zipper. Let's see if you can see. So, so, so pretty. Love, love, love. That's a real bag. Now, what's not technically a real bag, the next view. This, I'm keeping. I'm keeping this. I'm getting rid of the Neverfull, but I'm keeping the little pouch. You know why? These are so useful. Like, throw it in your suitcase, grab and go. Like, during the summer, this is just like... I know why they're all on fashion file without the pouches because people can give up the bag, but not the pouch. Okay. Heard of here first. Pocha Essessois. Damien Ibn. Tried and true. Super old. This is like 2011. Nothing can happen to this bag. Love it. And I love it even more. Um, I got the chain attachment to it. Love that too. This one might technically be a bag because it's so, so special. This is the Alma, no, it's not Alma. This is the Moon Pochette. It might be called the Alma Moon Pochette. Uh, moon, definitely. And this one has the Louis Vuitton V zipper lock on the front. This is rock and roll kind of handle. Came with patina, leather, little. This is a bag like you dress up. I would wear this black tie because it's like so unique, special luxury. Like this bag, I would dress down, like with shorts and a t-shirt. This bag, I'm dressing up. On the inside, ugh, just microfiber, love. Little card holder, cute. This is so, so special to me, so unique. I got this in Hawaii, actually. Well, I got these two together at the same time. Unique, special, never gonna find it again and the bag literally every woman needs two sides to my personality <laughs> love and that are my louis vuitton bags so we move on finally last but not least etc chanel we have first of all medium chanel gabrielle this bag, she's a beautiful mess. She's a little bit more mess than beauty at this point in her life. <laughs> Chains in every color, leather strap, structure, and no structure. She's structured, she's not, she's gold, she's silver. She's doing it all, maybe she's doing too much, but it is quite a useful bag on its own. This is also a nice, understated bag because if you don't see this and it's tucked in and you don't know then you don't know plus there was that whole okay now i'm gonna get 
now things have gone slightly awry. <laughs> There's that whole thing where you can wear it like this. This is how you cross body it. And so it's quite secure. So it actually is really good for, you know, edgy like that. And then I put it on and I fall in love with her all over again. And then I try and wear it cross body like this. And I'm like, what am I doing? Okay. Okay. We have a love hate relationship with the Gabby, but here she is. Plus what I loved about this bag, honestly, it was like the same price as a walk when I bought it. It was less expensive than some of the walks that I purchased. <laughs> I just got such a good deal on it. I can't let it go. It's a little bit of like the GST vibes but I did let the GST go. Okay, next. Also controversial, I'm gonna make you feel something, but obviously never going anywhere in my collection. Big Mama Pajama, the Grand Dom. This is a Chanel Jumbo. Gold hardware, black caviar leather, perfection, 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 purchased under $4,000. Are we so lucky? Okay, it was Europe. It was a VAT refund situation. It was kind of everything. Now let's dive into wallet on chain. We have an addiction. We have Houston, we have a problem. And that problem is we are addicted to wallet on chains. In reverse chronological order. Boy, unique, no back flap. I think my credit cards are in here. Yeah, this one's packed for business. So I'm not gonna show you because we don't know which one is going what way or the other. Classic Chanel lamb skin. This is from Cruise, the two-tone lamb. Love, yummy, yummy, back pocket. So delicious. Light gold hardware, chic as hell. Excuse my language. And this has the magnetic closure. So, you, she, so she's the newer version. Gold hardware on the zip. New, new, new. Then, so that was boy, beige. Now we have mermaid. Ugh, yummy. Still have the sticker on because I'm that girl. Rainbow. Hardware pocket on the back also has the magnetic with the metal zip strap is um, silver. Love this bag. This is actually like a really good neutral for like summery outfits. Also love this against an all black situation. So, so, so chic. Then we have the OG. Burgundy caviar wok used to bits, dragged all over Europe, silver hardware, old style with the snap and the zip pull. We have indentations. We have a lip in there. Ah. All right, all right, we could do a little bit better. So this one is what series is this? Where am I looking for the sticker? Or, oh, in the zip? Okay, thanks. Thanks. No? Yes? No? Am I crazy? Okay, I found it. It's been a minute, okay? 19 series. 19. She's been around the block. We love that for her. Yes, she has color transfer. Yes, she has corner wear, but use your freaking bags. Look, still perfect. Use to death, use your bags, get joy out of them, just do it. Okay, that is the wallet on chain situation. Love them, no regrets, would buy more. Okay, I need to just do this after. We're gonna be here too long. <sighs> Next, boy, medium boy, boy oh boy. This is 21K, the light purple with light gold hardware. 
single flap. You know the strap. She's loud. She's leather. She's slipping around. She's moving through the top. Who cares? Gorgeous. Single flap here. We got a little metal plate, new technology, etc. Now, minis. And I would have more of these if I could, but Lord knows, mini is hard to find. The one that started it all. Black caviar glitter. That's not dust. That's like glitter in the caviar. Perfect. Rectangular um, gunmetal hardware. The flap at the back. Leather interior. Chains are wrapped. We're chugging right along. The next one, queen. Lamb, hot pink lambskin light gold hardware with a top handle. Yes, 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 all day long. Don't call her red, she's not a red. She's a raspberry. Hot, it's hot pink. It's perfect. I think there's something in here. I'm like halfway in between this bag and this bag right now. You know, does that ever happen to you? So there's like a few wallets and whatever in here. Totally fine. You can take this receipt, put it back in there. I, sh I can be in two bags at one time. It's fine. <laughs> Don't freak out. Pink, pink, pink. Maybe my favorite bag right now. Just to keep in the top handle. I love it. It's such a good feature. Okay, this is not a review. Moving on. Last, finally, not least, denim. Square Mini Coco Crush. Antique Gold Hardware Pearl Detail with Adjustment. Strap, square, pocket on the back. A little squishy. She's denim, you know. She's not like super structured leather. Chanel Cruz. That's how it stands today. As of... January 2021, pre, pre, um, spring act one. If that gives you a hint of what may be on my wish list, that is my full luxury and high street bag collection. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love videos like this. I could watch it all day. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll leave a comment down below. What was your favorite bag? What was your least favorite bag? I don't know. Let's play that game. That could be fun. Keep it nice. You know, still subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay. Bye.